Yeah. Uh, why, oh my God, yeah. Why is the city making it so hard? Man, dude, they've been, people been throwing obstacles at us ever since we got this spot, man. The stuff, they're making us jump through some damn hoops so that we can get our, our regular permits to do what we do. So, you know, just the fact that we, we, we got this popping on a grassroots level and we get it popping when we do have events here and um, it's a, a symbol of black excellence and black perseverance, you know, that, you know, that ruffles people's feathers. Yeah, and we're, we get targeted for all the bullshit. Now, all the drug trap houses been around this motherfucker forever. The trap houses, the weed spots, the weed dispensaries, they don't do nothing with them. There's weed dispensaries all over this place. Yeah? We're right next door to a liquor store. A liquor store is right next door where there's weed dispensaries all over the place. But we do something constructive, then we got to do a whole bunch of jumping over hoops. Yeah? No, oh, like we got a bad hairline in here. We got a bad hairline in here. We'll, uh, um, lost, whatever your name is. Lost, whatever your name. You ever got a troll alert? Hop your ass in here. You hop on in here. Say what you got to say to me on camera. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that Breonna Taylor case. There was another the mistrial with um, the race soldier, the suspected race soldier that uh, killed him. Man. But yeah, old dude, hop on, guy. What's up, Queen Coochie Beats? Oh yeah, yeah, they got weed spots all over the place. The weed dispensaries all over the place. And liquor stores all over the place. Been here forever. And we get some popping that's constructive and that's a place that People can come and enjoy themselves. We all can hear. We got smooth jazz and folks out there having a good ass time. And then we got to jump through hoops with all types of um, special permits. You know, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. So we kind of expect that stuff. So we're not surprised. I signed your book at the grand opening. Hey, that's what's up, brother. Much respect. Man. Oh yeah, they don't bother with the strip clubs or the little Asian massage parlors that's all up and down the streets. Where they're doing something a little funny for money. You know how they do it. Uh, I do a live black art. Um, but yeah, we do all types of events here. Yeah, we do all types of events here. So while we're waiting on um, our little conditional use permits, the events we have, they just have to be private events. People can, you know, you've you got to RSVP online, basically. you got to get your tickets online, and we can't have walk-ups, basically. And the, um, the drinks and stuff, you got to make the drinks complimentary, which is fine. That's fine. You know, we'll do that until, because, you know, people still want to come and have a good time and just be around like-minded people. And it's a vibe. People love it here. The, the energy is real good. Yeah. You say, why, feel me, feel you, and why we can only do private events? Because they, um, the city made us get some, per some something called conditional use permits because of all of the live events we're having. And they just selectively made us get these conditional use permits so that we are able to do the live music and have a live DJ and sell the liquor. And um, so they kind of sprung that up on us. So now when we do our events, until we get our conditional use permit, that's a special use permit until we get that knocked out, which is gonna take a few months, we have to do the events private. Yeah. So that's what's going on. 